Hello and welcome to Medicine in 5 Minutes. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu and in this episode we shall look at measles, also known as rubiola. This is a disease that is going to be caused by an RNA virus belonging to the Mobili virus genus and the Paramyxal Viridae family. It has an incubation period of 1 to 3 weeks and becomes highly infectious 4 days before and 4 days after the onset of the rash. Historically, it is a childhood disease, but has now become rare because of vaccination and we only see sporadic cases and outbreaks among unvaccinated adults and children. Remember that the transmission is through respiratory droplets and direct contact. Clinical features include a maculopapular rash that spreads from behind the ears to the whole body, including palms and soles of the feet. And it also has a prodrome of two to three days of fever and the four C's although the last C is a K and not really a C. You have coryza, conjunctivitis, cough, and complex spots, which are white spots on the buccal mucosa. Investigations include serum IgM as well as a throat swab for PCR, but largely in our setting, the diagnosis is mainly clinical. Complex spots are the pathognomic feature of measles. Management is going to be including rest, oral fluids, and paracetamol for the fever. Isolate patients that are hospitalized, and for patients that are exposed, they should receive post-exposure prophylaxis within six days for the vulnerable contacts. Infants less than 12 months should receive intramuscular IgM. Alternatively, a measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine can be given if the child is 6 to 12 months and has been exposed within 72 hours. For the severely compromised, we want to give them intravenous IgG antibodies and for the unvaccinated pregnant women, we check their IgG status and give them intravenous immunoglobulin if they are negative. Complications include giant cell pneumonia, which is the commonest cause of death, acute otitis media, acute meningitis, or encephalitis during or immediately post-infectious, or subacute sclerosing panencephalitis, which usually occurs six to eight years later, with progressive decline to death over one to three years. The child may also develop hepatitis as well as febrile convulsions. In the pregnant women, there may be fetal malformations if this occurs in utero. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Till the next time, my name is Dr. Moses Kazevo. Bye bye.